Abreha Saidi is a mother of four and living here in Makale. Abreha used to live with her family in Metu in the Oromia region before she decided to come to Tigray to care for her mother some eight years ago. Her mother suffered for years and finally passed away last year following the start of the war. Now Abreha is alone in Makale, far from her husband and family in Oromia. Before the siege, Abreha used to make a living by selling harvest and centers in the local market. Something she has been forced to stop due to her health. Of Af Shait Nere. A little with Asir Hold and Sezer Hadilema of Af, the Nay Adaganagarzi, or which of Manam Lello, who did his name Sayil. Sahizewitz, among one and Hami, may had to go you. I used to sell herbs and scents at the local market, but after I got sick, I wasn't able to work. And so I had to stop. Abreha suffers from multiple chronic illnesses, including asthma, diabetes, and blood pressure. She also says she has a swelling near her belly that has further complicated her health condition. Hamushan go Hamushan, she to her to love. Mani Wah. That and now had a gun to have the Kunisera Aho. Wait to the Zaka on the Sera Aho, the Mahwat. I take a lot of medication day and night, but I haven't been able to see any improvements so far. The swellings on my back and belly have not shown any improvements. It just keeps getting bigger. I asked my doctor to take it out, but he said that wouldn't be possible because the swelling is so close to my heart. That is why I breathe so heavily. I can't move as I wish either. Abraha says the medications she needs to treat her condition are unavailable or extremely overpriced due to the seizures and borrow money so she can afford them. I have nothing now. I had to sell everything and have even started to borrow money from others so I can cover my medical expenses. I have sold almost everything. Abriha, with no money to cover even her medical expenses, says she will not be able to celebrate Eid al Adha this year. Not only that, because the siege, she will not even be able to hear from her children and husband this holiday. I have nothing at home. If I had money, I would have started preparation by now. And because transportation is closed, we cannot go outside to grind. I can't be with my children. I can't even call them because there is no telecommunication service. So all I can do is just pray that the Almighty God will solve this so I can meet my children again. Abraham's story is just one of the millions across Tigray separated from their family members due to the ongoing siege and unable to access their savings or humanitarian assistance as the Ethiopian government continues its inhuman siege on the region.